you from God, our Father, and Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel yes, Renee. Sir. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Press like and share. Uh, amen. Welcome to the Voice of the Prophet. We've been talking about the doctrine of atonement. We talk about how God, on Monday, how God used the nation of Israel. And on Tuesday, we talk about the um, patriarchal age where God used the fathers of the nation to establish the nation so that the seed may come through. Yes, Lord, teach. On, on this Wednesday, we're talking about the law age. You know, mm -hmm. which is mostly going to talk about the book of Leviticus, um, the, 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 the journeys of the children of Israel through, um, to the wilderness, mm -hmm. where God established mm -hmm. laws for them to live by. Every law has a purpose. Mm -hmm. Every law has a reason. All of it has to do with Jesus Christ. Amen. Every law that he gave to the nation of Israel, to the tribe of Israel, was to lead unto Jesus, which is our, the ultimate seed, the blessed seed, that will help all the nations of the world. Amen. So, the first thing he's, you know, God is like, um, what you call it, a, a puzzle maker, and he leave clues, and he, you know, he drop, he drop little pieces here and there. Now, if you look at it in Exodus chapter 12, right? And a lot of times when God doing something, we don't understand what, what it is. Mm -hmm. But he but he has, um, when I look at the Bible, I'm like, whoa, he got a purpose for everything. But Jesus was all over the Old Testament, mm -hmm. but we just don't understand the clue mm -hmm. to who he was. Now, we see now... Um, now, when you, when you look at Exodus, I don't want to hit the, read the whole thing, but you guys can um, read the whole thing because what happened is when Jesus, when, when, when began to talk Moses to talk about the, um, establishing the Passover lamb, right? Let's go to, uh, let's start, you know, you guys can read from one. I'm going to start reading from 20. You know, after this, go back and read chapter one, the whole thing. But verse 20, I'm going to start with that. Amen. He said, you should, he began reading God's holy word. He said, you should eat nothing leaven in your um, habitation, should you eat unleavened bread. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. Now that lamb, who what? It was Christ. It was Jesus in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Right? Because guess what? He's the lamb of God. Remember when John saw him? He said, here goes the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. So now he said, and you should take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lint on the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you should go out the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through, through to smite the Egyptian when he seeth the blood upon the lentil and on the two side posts, the, the, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come into your house to smite you. Now, this was the spirit of death. Remember that, right? Mm -hmm. when, 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 when they were in Egypt yeah. and the spirit of death was killing everybody, but it was purposely to kill the firstborn of the Egyptians. But the key thing is you see here that the blood who represent Christ, the blood of Jesus in the Old Testament mm -hmm. applied by faith. So they had to kill the, the lamb. Mm -hmm. The lamb represent Christ. And when they put the blood on that doorpost, Death could not come in. Yes, so the blood was the blood of Christ mm -hmm. was a protection even in the old testament or representative of it mm -hmm. to the lamb was was can protect the children of Israel. Yes, now 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 look look at what he said in verse twenty four. And you shall observe this thing for ordinance to thee and to thy son forever. And it shall come to pass when you come to the land which the Lord give you according as he had promised that you keep this that you should do the same thing. Right? Why is it that he established the killing of the lamb and the blood to represent us of a savior that is to come? Now, what is what did the blood did here? Right? It saved them from death. Yes, yes. Right? Physical death. Mm -hmm. And what is the blood of the lamb is gonna do for us? Save us from spiritual death. Yes, yeah. And physical you know, we, we all gonna die physically, mm -hmm. but from spiritual death we're not gonna die from. Yes, and this is why he said to them. Right? That you should say it is the sacrifice of the Lord Passover, who passed over the house of the of the children of Israel in Egypt when he smoked the Egyptian deliver our house, and the people bowed their head. And guess what they did? Mm. The worship. Because the Lord, 
that represent Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Exodus 24. If you go to it, read the whole thing. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Somebody say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Now, look at this. Um, let, well, let's read one. And he, he began to read God's holy word. Uh, Exodus 24, verse 1. And he said unto Moses, Come unto the Lord, thou and, and, and Aaron, and Hadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, worship you afar off. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall come not. Now neither shall the people go up with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the judgment of the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which the Lord hath said will we do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early in the morning, building an altar unto the hill, and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of tribe, twelve tribes of Israel. And he said, Young men of the children of Israel, which offer burnt offerings and sacrifice, peace offering of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in the basin, and half of the blood he sprinkled in the altar. Mm -hmm. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, all that the Lord have said, will we do and be obedient. So we see that, right? What they started in Egypt, that they got even after they left Egypt in the mm -hmm. Exodus, that they established the blood, which represent Christ. Yes, Lord. The blood. Now look at it. Moses took the blood and sprinkled it. He said, behold, the blood, what? Of the covenant. What is the covenant? What is what is the blood of a covenant? The blood of the covenant was, was giving in the garden about the seed of Abraham, about the seed that will come to yes, save God. all mankind. Yes. The seed, right? This is the blood of the covenant. This is the blood of promise that the seed, right, that will come, that will save all mankind. Mm -hmm. Where he says in the garden, Genesis 3.15, that, 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 that the seed of the woman mm -hmm. shall bruise the head of the serpent. Mm -hmm. From Genesis Amen. through all out, we Jeez. see Jesus Christ being foreshadowed right. To be the redemption of mankind. That is what the doctrine of atonement is all about. Somebody yes, say amen. Amen. Um, now, um, while well, it's a lot, um, let's go to Judges 13. Skip some a little bit. Judges, um, Judges chapter um, 13. Hallelujah. Verses 16 to 19. And the angel of the Lord said unto Manoah, Thou do, though thou detain me, I will not eat of thy bread. If thou wilt offer a burnt offering, thou must offer it unto the Lord. For Manoah knew not that he was an angel of the Lord. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, What is thy name, that when thy saying come to pass, we may do thee an honor? Right? And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why exit thou dust after my name, seeing it is secret? So Manoah took a kid with a meat offering. See that, right? The killing again. So Manoah took a kid with a meat offering, and offer it upon a rock unto the Lord. And the angel did rungeously, and Manoah and his wife looked down. And now we see that this is also the birth of Samson, mm -hmm. that through the birth of Samson being birthed, it is part of preserving the seed. Mm -hmm. Now the purpose of, of the judges, right, was born to protect the children of Israel from all the rest of the nations. Amen. That's why we saw guys like Samson, um, um, Samuel being mm -hmm. born, Joshua being born, to guide the nation, to direct the nation, all to do what? To preserve the seed, mm -hmm. to, pr to preserve the will and the purpose of God, mm -hmm. and to protect what? The blood covenant of what God said yes. will happen to redeem mankind. Yes, Somebody say amen. amen. Now, 1 Samuel 1, 21. Hope you get some of this. 1 yes. Samuel 1, verse 21. Here, beginning of reading of God's holy word. Now, look at this. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord, and they abide forever. And Elkanah, her husband, said unto her, Do what seemeth thee de good, tarry until they have weaned him only. The Lord established his word, so the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her three bollocks and one ephra flower, bottle of wine, and brought him. So we see God now mm -hmm. establishing laws and rules mm -hmm. that will point unto the Savior, mm -hmm. unto the deliverer. That's why every rules mm -hmm. and regulation was given. It was not something you say, oh, why well, we have to do these things? Mm -hmm. 
And why we have to do that? Every law and everything that was given had a purpose. Uh, 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 every age. Um, next time we're going to talk about the laws and the prophets. Mm -hmm. That the law, uh, it was foretold by the prophets. So, so every law was given. And every, you know, a, a, a lot of us. You know, we say, where's Jesus in the Old Testament? Uh, um, you know, in the Old Testament, he's everywhere. He's the Passover lamb. Mm -hmm. He's, he's you, you know, every time you make a sacrifice, right? It is pointed towards Christ. It is pointed towards the mm -hmm. Savior. It was pointed the Deliverer. Who will make the, 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 the fullness of sacrifice on our behalf one day? Yes, yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. So all of it will represent to God. The sacrifice that he will make by giving his son for us and for his redemption. Amen. Amen. So don't look at when you read the, the laws and everything else as something that we need to read by fast or don't have understanding. The only reason we read by it fast, we don't see Jesus in it. And we don't see the purpose of why God called the nation to follow all those laws and rules so that the Savior can come through the line Amen. and save humanity. Amen. Amen. Well, I pray the word bless you and strengthen you. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have one thing to say to you. Jesus is Lord. Press like and share.